The Molus X100, everybody's talking about it because it's supposed to be so bright and so small. And, uh, and then there's a little tiny one here. Look how small this thing is, right? So uh, everybody's already reviewed the hell out of these. I don't know. So I'm just going to give you my honest Marcus tells the truth like it is review. First thing you notice about this thing when you take it out of the box is how many warning stickers are on this thing. It says glaring light and high temperature. Exposure at close range will cause a fire. It says it here, it says it here, it says it here, it here, and here. It's warning you this thing is gonna cause a fire. <laughs> so that kind of sets me a little uh, uneasy right there. None of the other ones do that. This one does. This is the standard by which I based everything, the Amaran 60D. Uh, I, I assume the 60 is based on the amount of power the LED uses. It uses 60 watts of electricity. That's what I'm assuming it means. So they would want you to think that the 100, they, you know, they want the consumer to think, oh, well, if this is a 60, then the 100 is going to be much brighter, right? Well, no, they like to give you bigger numbers to think that it's brighter. Well, what they're, I think they're actually in reference to is that it puts the same amount of light as a 100 watt light bulb. This 60, even though it says 60 on it, and this says 60, this is not as bright as this. Not even close. Just because it says 60 doesn't mean it's the same light level. So that's the first thing out of the thing here. The brightest of the bunch is still the Amaran 60D. Okay, so let's just get that right out of the road. It's also the cheapest one. This is 150 bucks. This thing, which is not even as bright as this, this thing costs 250 bucks, just this alone right here, All right? 250 bucks. If you want a battery, if you want a battery power it, that's another 120 bucks. So that takes you up to $350, all right? So at that, just, just with a battery alone, this thing, you can buy two of these for one of these. And if you want a bones mount, oh, now you're up to $400. $400 for this thing. And it's not even as bright as this. Uh, okay, so that get that out of the way. Now it is it's kind of weird shape. It's like flat, but wide. And then the battery takes it out to like this, like on the side even more. So you got a grip on the side here. Uh, for compactness, I guess, yeah. If you're traveling, and space or hiking or, you know, if you want to really save space, this is good because you could stack four of them next to each other for the same amount of space that this would take up. Uh, so it is it's kind of big this way. It's like a hard drive. It's the same size as a hard drive. And it's just basically a giant fan with an LED stuck to it. The the light that goes on here, I don't like the, the gizmo that it uses. You have to push this in in order to stick it. It's not the quickest, I mean, it works though, anyway. So that's the 100. Here's the pattern it puts on the wall compared to this one here, which is the Amaran 60D. Now Amaran 60D has got a hot spot in the middle. I don't mind that. Lights for me are mainly focused on a face. They're not trying to light up the whole room. Some people do want to light up a whole room. Well, then there's umbrellas and other modifiers you can use. But for me, it's for portraits and stuff like that. So hot spots don't mean anything for me. But here's the pattern of the 60D. Here's the pattern of this 100. Here's the pattern of the Molus G60. And here's the pattern of of the well making. None of these bother me. The pattern distribution isn't really a big deal, but I thought I'd share it with you. So this thing here is ridiculously expensive, 300 to $400. You could buy two Amarans for one of these. This one is really small. They say this is the smallest one out there and it's, it's, it's super bright and really small and really cheap. It is really small, but compare it to the well making. This is the well making I have, uh, which is just as bright as this, by the way. So, okay, if this has a light reading of 16.5, this one has a light reading of 11.5, so it's a stop less than this, all right? These two are eight. So they're one stop less than this, and two stops less than that, all right? So now the thing about this is the well making's got the battery on the side. This plugs right into the side of the battery. So this is the whole unit right here. This is the entire unit. Look how self-contained it is. This thing, even though it's the same size as the well making, does not have a battery. If you want to battery power this thing, then you have to use a USB battery pack. And then you stick it in the side here. And this is the part that I hate, is that you got these dangly wires and this is your power unit. So now you've got this 
versus this. And this thing also has the option of putting a, uh, either a V-mount or uh, two NPs on the side. So we've got this right here. This is the Amaran with the battery or this with the battery. And this thing here also has a battery that goes on the side like a grip, which you can get for another 120 bucks, which I refuse to get. Although I probably will end up getting one, but <laughs> anyway, and then you have a, you have to open up this thing in the bottom here where you can put either a 24 volt plug from a, the power jack or the USB. So now you have, to, you can power this thing with a USB also. It's got to be 100 watts. Obviously you need a 100 watt USB battery and a 100 watt USB cable. A lot of USB cables are not 100 watts. So you can have a 100 watt battery, but it still won't work with this if you don't have a 100 watt cable. So you got all these dangly cords and battery packs and stuff, which is I don't like. I hate anything that dangles. I just like a single unit like this. I still don't like this thing. I like a battery that just plugs right on the side like this. Um, so for me, this is still the most compact one. It's not the brightest one. It's this well making is the same brightness as the the Molus uh, G60, but this has the battery attached. They're both about the same price. This is 200. This is 240. But the 200 is without anything. This comes with the Bowens mount. This doesn't. So that is, I think, the best value or the Amaran. These two are not the best value for the money, but this is pretty portable. Really, really nice and portable. They're both really portable, but you gotta use this, these <laughs> dangly things. So I don't think these, oh, and then th this also comes with a, uh, a silicone diffuser on the front. Here's what it looks like on the wall, If you, the pattern. It's really, really diffused. Of course, it takes the light level down pretty dramatically, but you can get a nice soft light in a room if you use this. Uh, the, both of these are bicolor. These are not bicolor, these are. Bicolor takes the light level down. I don't really use bicolor that much. I always like the brightest light possible that's daylight. So it frustrates me that they don't have the daylight version of these but you can dial it in to be 5600 whatever so it's got the the temperature and the brightness dial in the back here and you got two knobs here uh and as far as fan noise actually the loudest one of the bunch is the amaran now when i say loudest it means you can slightly hear it it's like a very 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 slight these other ones you, you can't hear at all there's like no noise at all coming even though these these have fans you you can't even hear them so that's good. So the only thing that's negative about the Amaran is it's big and it's the biggest and bulkiest of the bunch. What else? Uh, oh, and then this thing, if you put the Fresnel from the Stella Reflex on here, it takes it from eight up to 11.5. So that makes it even with this. So this light stock is as bright as this. And if you put the Stella Reflex Fresnel on the front, then it's as bright as this. Now, when I say put the lens on front, that means taking apart the well making, putting some spacers in there and gluing on the lens. It's not an instant thing, but I like to tinker and see how far I can push things. What else? I guess I pretty much covered it. That's, uh, that's my review of said items. Um, What else can I say? Is there anything else I should say about these? I don't know. These are small. Yes, they're very small, but they're not as small as the Stellar Reflex, and the Stellar Reflex is brighter than any of these lights. It just has fan noise and costs a lot. I made a video about it. I'll put the link down below. I mean, I'm not saying they're not bright. They are pretty bright. As far as price difference goes, 250 if you get it just bare, 350 if you want a battery with it, and 400 if you want the battery in the Bowens. This one, ready to go with the Bones mount, $240. This one, just like it is here, no Bones mount, is $200 for the G60. And this right here, with the Bones mount, is only $150. So you can buy two of these or one of these. There is a price difference. Uh, as far as heaviness, this one's the lightest. This one's the second lightest. These two are about the same. So here you go with lightness. And as far as brightness goes, there you go. Brightest, least brightest. 
Mollus, I mean, that's a weird name. I got, I got to say that. I, I, I just feel very uncomfortable saying the name Mollus. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know if I, 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 I can handle that. It's just a weird name, and I, 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 I don't know. And the shape is just weird. It's flat. It's kind of weird. Weird name, weird shape. This is cute. Nice. I don't know. They're all good. Everything's good. But that's that. Well, she's waving at me. <laughs> say goodbye in the video. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll wave goodbye and I'll see you in the next video then. Have a good week. I'll see you in the next one.